garbage day hour 22. That's two twos. That's at least three poop jokes. <laughs> and in the room this hour, we've got Franklin West, Lemon, John Toast, J.W. Friedman, Ironicus, and your artist, Positronic. <laughs> All right, Toast, do it. Do it. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> hey, can we just have that be the next hour? <laughs> Lemon's all right, Toast. You're going to read something? It's like, all right, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. I like can I Pos- be Jonathan Taylor Thomas? <laughs> I like Positronic suddenly no. realizing that she's going to have to trot Tim Allen. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know what Tim Allen looks like. <laughs> Kind of, kind of Steve buscemi <laughs> He looks like Santa Claus. That definitely looks like Steve Buscemi after being Muppet, Muppetized. Sheila, Sheila, it hurts. Sheila, it's going to be a deep cut. It's like Steve Buscemi on a, what is it, spitting image. you got to remove the needle. Spitting image? <laughs> Jesus. I, thought I know, right? I told you it was a deep cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. Uh, Frank West, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this doc because I also ran across Tim Allen's. This is Tim Allen's idea exchange. And I ran across it, I think, at roughly the same time Go Chris or 420 did. Um, It's a really great website. Tim Allen decided to make a website for himself, but he wasn't going to be like other celebrities. He wanted to make a website that had his big ideas and his big blog posts. And he has a forum and he actually posted on this forum. So it was simultaneously a forum for Tim Allen fans in the year 2010 and later, (laughs) which is already crazy. And then also a place to talk about philosophy and science. (laughs) Um, We won't be reading any of Tim Allen's posts because, and this may be a shocker, he's really boring. Uh, But he did, in fact, post here and these people were interacting with him directly. And I think that's important to keep in mind. (laughs) Yeah, like it, like because because it was you know it was timallen.com and then the timallen.com was real boilerplate, right? Like here's pictures of me and here's my Facebook and right. you can see me on tour, um, uh, which is you know uh, whatever. But then he had the the forum and while he was a boring poster, uh, I did enjoy that his avatar was himself. Like mm-hmm. uh, mindfully staring at like a globe that was in his hand as the universe was swirling around him. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, like I believe... he just sort of unlocked the secrets. You know, I'll have to I'll have to pull it up here. Maybe I can find it. But I believe that's the cover to his book. I'm not really here, which I read <laughs> oh, as a wow. uh, when I was young. Uh, yeah, it's about basically the summary is Tim Allen's like, hey, I found out about quantum physics. It's really sh- crazy shit. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. yeah no, that that's basically yep, all of his I, posts, I, too. I recognize that image. That's definitely it. Yep. What I remember okay. from all of his posts is that it was exactly, what if a philosophy idea? Lots of ellipses. <laughs> <laughs> He's like proto uh, Steve Adams, right? The Dilbert guy? Yes, except probably not. Well, he's I mean, be- he might he's have been better. Raised. Yeah, he's yeah. better than yeah, he's better than Scott <laughs> Adams for sure. His his abs aren't shredded for sure. Ooh. Yeah, there's the picture right there on stream. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, Scott that's Adams. I know, I know, I messed it up. I'm sorry. Anyways, that thus concludes our meeting of the Tim Allen fan club, and onto the document. Since Lemon's excited, I'll have you read uh, Latina Republican Mom at the top. <laughs> in his. <Fuck>! In his- <laughs> Uh, before, let, let's end the fan club properly, though. In his name, we pray. Yes. So uh, my name is uh, Latina uh, Republican uh, Mom, um, and uh, okay, this is this is going to sound ridiculous, but. My lovely conservative kick-ass pages on Pinterest led me to this ridiculous yet scary theme about the music and movie industry starting start being Illuminati devil worshippers. I was so irritated that after reading how they sold their soul to the devils in their own words... That I needed some serious outdoor man binge therapy. I worked until I got a long angle of the photo in the outdoor man's office. Looks like a doggone Illuminati pyramid. I had major frownies. (laughs) (laughs) Then 
I finally got to a closer shot, and it's just a perspective issue. It's really dark road surrounded by like light ground and the clouds. I was so relieved, especially after noticing every right. awful Let's one talk vampires. picture <laughs> of every movie star. I thought I was just a benign, selfish Democrat. Now I'm realizing they're teasing you that they may or may not be Satanists. Uh, and uh, I'm going to break. Or we got I'm more Tina Marano coming in just summer. a second. Oh. Let me shift the gears to a southern accent. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that was a southern accent. Okay. <laughs> a little bit. Um. Uh. There's a uh, more Latina uh, Republican mom in a second. Uh. But even though Boots should probably b- be lying down, instead, uh, he is uh, looking through images of Kotep. Uh, Kotep, uh, has been with us this entire time. Uh, with a uh, two-headed dragon plushie, uh, making fan art for every hour. Uh, and so uh, if you see uh, plushy images appear on the screen, uh, that's the reason for that. Right after I realized they were using they horrible hand signals, which are indiscernible mm-hmm. from your basic peace, love, rock and roll ESL hand, hand signs. Okay. <laughs> I started seeing how much darn devil imagery they use. Then I got really sick. <laughs> Infection. Conspiracy? Not really, but I was so (laughs) moved by my relief that most likely there is still no sign of nasty secret code and last man standing that it really brightened my mood for the night. Then I discovered this forum. Actually, I went looking for it. I really needed the last man standing is not that old of a show. So this is a very no. recent post. Yeah, No, this, this forum is closed, but I think like literally last year it closed down. So, <laughs> and it was active up to that point. I really needed to say my piece about this devilish Illuminati crap. So I wrote this post neat. <laughs> Just that's a sentence by itself. Neat. <laughs> While neat. I hold no one above our mighty creator, I like the fact that I can send a message to this particular big guy and his fans. Thanks for saying what needs to be said, man. And also wish you guys would calm down the OMGs in the show. That's really the Lord's name in vain. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, still works, right? <laughs> God. Wow. Yeah. To my own fans. <laughs> so uh, to highlight the dichotomy of this forum, uh, Toast, will you take Bring Back Home Improvement Petition? Haru? <laughs> <laughs> Your name's Haru, Australia? <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm going to, as I said, I was going to, I'm going to be reading as Haru, Australia. <laughs> and I want to Bring Back Home Improvement Petition. Uh, petition to bring back home. Yeah, bring, uh, bring, po- yeah. bring back the petition. Took a second to parse that. Post or apply if you agree with this and help us bring back home improvement. Dear Mr. Allen, we the undersigned wish you to bring back bring home improvement back to our screens, whether that be in a reunion show, a movie, or hopefully a regular occurrence. Oh man, home improvement the movie. <laughs> 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 They'll have to solve a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, you've got to close the portal. <laughs> I know it's you, Al. I'm bringing you in. I don't think it's him. <laughs> quick, quick, make him think he's over there. Throw your voice to distract him. <laughs> oh. oh, crap, I unplugged my headset. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I was like, you right? <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's just a, dr- a very dramatic pause. <laughs> okay, we're back. Okay. Uh, we are sick and tired of the 2000s comedy shows. They are just aren't funny and don't have the same build as Home Improvement did. <laughs> well, what about, about quality bills, man? Excellent craftsmanship. <laughs> I mean, that whole show was about, you know, Tim fucking up shit. <laughs> What's a there build? Was, there was the product placement from like DeWalt, I think. <laughs> yeah. Bob Dylan. Um... <laughs> Please listen to us and bring back home improvement. Three exclamation points. What do Quote? we want? <laughs> home home improvement. Improvement. Do we want it? Uh, uh, you know, soon. I mean, like in the fall schedule, I guess. <laughs> Quote Tim for you. Quote. <laughs> I hope he does go ahead and do home improvement movie because that would be S I K sick. Smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a so there was a quote 
which didn't have any quote marks, and then it said, it's quote him for your quote, and then there is a sentence with quotation marks that says, we all still dream of doing this. We all <laughs> still dream of doing this. Hey, I'm Michigan lover. Our society is screaming for more home improvement and the antics of Tim Allen. Screaming! <laughs> screaming for more home improvement <laughs> and the antics of Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Uh... Hey Jay, uh, you're yeah. Katie Sandstrom, and you're having you 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 got no power. I got no power. No, power. <sighs> no power. We are currently living a real life disaster up here in Alaska that Agreed. would make for a great reality TV show. Fairbanks got hit by a big storm last Wednesday night and knocked out power to the majority of Fairbanks, North Pole, and na 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 na. <laughs> Rainbows, <laughs> I think Rainbows. that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm going on the fifth day with no power. We are prepared. We have a 5K generator to power most of our house and keep the pipes from freezing up. But starting tomorrow, the temperature is dropping to negative 20s. At that temperature, <laughs> you need to plug in your car to power the block heater. Our generator isn't powerful enough to plug in our four cars. I can't help but chuckle. Sorry. I can't help but chuckle and grunt. I need power. <laughs> I, get it. I get it. I get like it. Like the show. <laughs> yeah. So what was what was Katie hoping to accomplish with this? Um, she just... just wants to be friends with Tim Allen and talk about like <laughs> like so this is like really old people too. So they just think it's kind of like a Facebook, but Tim Allen might see it. Right. Yeah. You know Which that comic that comic right. pluggers. It's that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I I know that. I used to read that. I was... is that still in the newspaper. Oh, uh, every comic's in the newspaper forever. I think it's in the Penny that Saver, is, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Maybe totally convinced the newspaper's around. in the newspaper. Can you prove to me? <laughs> yeah, I think at this point the newspaper is just like four pages of comics and then some classified ads. <laughs> oh, no, every, every newspaper comic is eternal because they just, you know, when they get old, they just pass it off to their kids and it never ends. <laughs> <laughs> and then they buy the Chicago Cubs. Oh. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go to message for Tim Man. <laughs> we got a message for the Tim Man himself. I am Tim Man. Uh, let's see. Ironicus, I think you're going to be Purina. Yes. Uh, message for Tim Man. <laughs> I must speak to your Tim Man. Thank, thank you, Patrick Warburg. <laughs> Mr. Allen, in this country that has gone down the poop chute so quickly, sharply. <laughs> Eat shooting poop. <laughs> shoot, shoot is spelled totally incorrectly here. Poop, shoot, leaves. Yes. We going on a poop shoot. <laughs> poop, shoot. poop, shoot, leaves. <laughs> so quickly, sharply, within only one generation, you remain the one man courageous enough to say so to such a large audience. Mm. I am privileged to speak to the choir once a week. You speak to hundreds of mm. thousands on any given day. And what a blessing that you do. <laughs> God has given you the gifts of opportunity, and you have made the most of those. Thank you. <laughs> like a plea bargain where you don't get busted for all the cocaine you had in your truck. <laughs> you I was going to say, just, nothing says Christianity like smuggling kilos of coke across state lines. <laughs> you speak up for common sense, morality, <laughs> and for Jesus. <laughs> Jesus loves the AO. <laughs> yeah, you speak up for common sense, morality, and also you're that plug. Hook me up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, just another Christian American who remembers what our nation under God used to be. Bracket slash B. Some of this was supposed to be bolded, and he didn't actually start bolding it. <laughs> All of it was supposed to be bold. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been some bold up in the past. Let's unbold that shit. <laughs> just that man's been in bold for like ten years, and he just figured out how to do it. <laughs> so, do you think this is an actual preacher of some sort, or is he just a fronting for the internet? Oh no, he's yeah. just a guy that goes to choir practice and won't shut up. Yeah. <laughs> 
these the uh, these dragon plushies are delightful. Oh, I really yeah. love them. Yes, they're very good. Also, uh, we get a pluggers cartoon. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> oh yay! <laughs> Buzzdronic is drawing us our own pluggers cartoon. And Nostalgic. you said you didn't know what Tim Allen looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good plugger, too. Yeah. yeah. And that's a weird sounding sentence. <laughs> I think that's the first time that sentence actually, has actually been said. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of people fronting on the internet, my name is Philip J.Y., and Tim Man is not Tim Allen. <gasps> Tim Man is not capable of us in any influence. Arr? Arr? Tim Man is an imposter. And though he does have good contributions at times, period. Oh my God. I feel he is selfish and does not see the big pictures. Oh my God. And Lemon. He has a really small monitor. Lemon, you are, you are the Tim man. Defend yourself. In what way? Am I being selfish? I have a lot of thoughts. Sometimes it feels like I have different voices in my head trying to tell me what to say. Don't you feel that way sometimes? You left the board. You said you were done, uh, but here you are. What is it you wish I was doing? Mm. It's so much pointing during that reading. Mm, that good form, that good form drama. I love it. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Internecine Tim Allen drama. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't think it would be here, but of course it is. And you, yeah, you there's would think more it. than two people on this forum, so right. they're gonna fight. <laughs> I wish you would take a long, hard look in the bedroom mirror. I wish you would be honest with us. I wish you would consider the impact of your words before you type them. <laughs> Friendship should not be a requirement. If you fell this way, then let warmth into your life and heart. I feel you may find a responsible profit to your health. I'm very honest. Well, sometimes I'm not. Listen, <laughs> all I know uh? is I love Tim, especially his brain. And I'm here to share and have a good time. No need to get so upset. I love Tim Allen's brain. I must have it. You are a sappy Allen sexual. Bring it to me. Bring me the brain of Tim Allen. So let's see. What's the next one? We might come back to this one if we have time, but it's three okay. pages. Uh, we're going to move to a portion of the doc that for some reason Grokes are titled Less Crazy People. Um, so no, Toast, no, if you would no. take met Tim Allen years ago, he predicted when I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> he shook my hand and then froze. His pupils were really huge. <laughs> Qu quoth, qu quoth the Allen. Uh? <laughs> All right. Hello, I am Toolman54. Met Tim Allen years ago, he predicted when I'd die. Years ago, probably 1994 or 1995, I was in Borders Bookstore in Burbank. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Jim Border. <laughs> While I was in the sci-fi slash fantasy section, I noticed a familiar face reading a Douglas Adams book. Oh, good. <laughs> and softly weeping. It was Tim <laughs> Allen. <laughs> oh, oh, and poor cosmic oh, whale oh, falling through space. <laughs> Ford Prefect's never going to make it home, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I approached him carefully as he seemed pretty broken up about something. I asked him, are you okay? He put away the book he was reading and looked at me. He looked straight into my eyes and it almost felt like he was looking through me and into my soul. Like he's a sociopath? Yeah. <laughs> it was a powerful feeling I've never felt since. We stared at each other for what seemed like an eternity in complete silence until he said, you will die on May 17th, 2017. And ran towards the entrance and out of my life forever. <laughs> <laughs> he just says that to everyone. It's like the oh, the Bill Murray stories, but way, way more scary. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to believe this happened. No one will remember you. <laughs> yeah, so I met Tim Allen of all people. <laughs> <laughs> it was a surreal experience at first i laughed it off but there was something in his eyes yeah, something in his voice that made me dread tomorrow tim allen is not the man we think he is <laughs> and go kisser has inserted a little note here i'll read this man has made three posts total on may 16th 2017 he posted this and the day after he posted my god he was right in all oh, <laughs> that's dark 
<laughs> in between that, he suggested the greatest song of all time was this experimental Japanese noise album that's just juxtaposing their national anthem and the audio from a porno. He has not said anything since then. <laughs> wow. I was so hoping it was going to be Mertzpo, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a career. By the way, when I was reading, I was confused. I thought Douglas Adams was Scott Adams for a second. I was like, oh, confluence of <laughs> shitty book writers. But I'm fine with Douglas Adams. I just want to move on. Do you think Tool Man got really excited and then really bummed when he found out there was a band called Tool? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I bet these guys are. Oh, fuck. Pop, pops in the CD. <laughs> Why can't we not be sober? <laughs> work. That didn't work. That didn't I like no. I, I like Scooby Doo sings Tool. I'm gonna <laughs> that. just want to sleep forever. <laughs> okay, now it's Grover. That's fine too. <laughs> Jesus blows his fucking whistle. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just Jizz. I, I I like all of the I, I like all of the singers. I like all of these versions. Jizz the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> Somehow I became Yoda. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit. <laughs> yep. uh, hey, Lemon, uh, you're going to be the yeah. Tim Man under Round Earth, Fact or Deception? And then. Uh... Jizz. <laughs> oh, that's the soundboard. I thought that was one of you guys. <laughs> nope. Jizz. I'm oh, sorry. You said, I, you said I was who? Who am I? Uh, you're, you're back to being the Tim Man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Who I think it's my favorite poster. Cool, cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, because I, because presumably, because Tim Mann is not Tim, Mann, uh, is not Tim. Mann, no, he's right? not Tim Allen. But he Tim is Allen. the moderator of the site. Do you think that was a paid position? <laughs> no. I think it was. I think he was actually paid to be the moderator of the Tim Allen ID exchange. I think, anyway, I think he was paid in the glory of working for Tim Allen. Okay, and yeah, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Round Earth Factor Deception. Oh, God. Here we go. I'm not sure if the inbed will work, but this seems like undeniable proof to me. Any globe heads in here? <laughs> <laughs> also, Boots from the uh, chat said, I have found some kind of temporary sanity in this shit. Blood and cum on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Jay, you're the big man. I'm the big man. Hang on. Let me. F ah, here we go. Well, let the big man is telling you that the world is an endless ball of wonder. And that's the end. Night. If the big man hears any mere talk about the earth being flat, then the big man's going to tear air for your arse cheeks and use them to make a saddle fur for the big man's son's bike. Well, it's the Tim Allen Forum! Then the big man's gonna ram his boot that far up your arse that people will be asking, when did Doc Martin start making hats? I think that guy might be Scottish. Doc Martin? I don't know, it's just, yeah, every now and then there would be Gane and, uh... Yeah, yeah. I feel like actually I'm almost certain he isn't specifically. Because... <laughs> yeah, did the Irish people type in I dialect? I don't know. I, mean, I think not. some might. I feel, I feel one like I feel like real sentences for one word though. Like real, yeah. like real chavy, like uh, North England people will do that sometimes. That's true. I, I just I think the big man he's got the fake patois. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I mean, think it's... he's even that big. Wait, do you think <laughs> the big man puts on airs? <laughs> really yeah no no way <laughs> it's too big man uh and uh ironicus you're robert i don't know if that's an i or an l you're robert e e e e I'm, I'm robert ludlum uh okay. yeah <laughs> you're you're welcome for, big for jason Bourne. yeah <laughs> no i do not believe the earth is flat and no i do not believe in gravity because there is something in science that is exactly like it 100 percent magnetism <laughs> nope <laughs> to paraphrase mst and if your feet were made of metal that would mean something <laughs> <laughs> if you wish to discuss it flat earth that's fine give me your argument and i shall report with logic not as a reiteration of intellect just a simple logical discussion tag you're it the mechanic from texas fucking magnet in the beginning middle of the earth <laughs> <laughs> 
pelican ate my cell phone in San Francisco Bay. <laughs> and then what? And what did it do? What did it do what after do, what that? Do next? It flew away. It did not. God damn it, J.W. Friedman. The pelicans, Thoughtful. once they eat your cell phone, do not throw, do not fly away. They run away. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. It was just there in the air, and I missed it. <laughs> what if it's like a, <laughs> a fucking lunatic. Plant, plant a uh, and Tim Allen grows. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Uh, my name is Dave's not here, and I want to talk to you about backward masking. Cool man. Yes. Yeah, yes. man. Cool, cool man. <laughs> I was that, recently that yeah. grunt you like is coming back and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn it! That was a backwards grunt. <laughs> That's I like it. No, I, I liked could, it. I, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, there was a definite Missy Elliott thing to it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, a Buzz Lightyear doll can bend his arms back like this. <laughs> I recently was sent an email with the bag masking of Hotel California. I've checked out several different ones. I highly recommend you see the one for yesterday. Uh, I'm kind of interested in this stuff <laughs> and wonder if anyone else has looked into this. Uh, yes, most preachers in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, really disreputable lawyers. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be wholly satanic. But there's a really trippy one of Elvis that occurs on Silent Night. Am I the only one that's noticed that Tool Time Backwards is emit loot? <laughs> <laughs> Get them burps. Uh, emit loot from my orifice. <laughs> he is silent. <laughs> mit loot. Mit loot. <laughs> mit loot. I'd hate to wrongly accuse Tim of being a Satanist, but I've never seen him at any of the meetings. Because <laughs> I'm just like, a, forget it, man. I get it. I get it. I get it. Ooh, and it makes me wonder. Not as number five. What's a not as? you know, backwards. I just got yeah, it. Literally. Oh, after. fuck you. Second. Also a fabulous <laughs> professional skateboarder from the 1980s. <laughs> Not as coppice. A little bit of art in my life. <laughs> uh, hey, Lemon, you're Tim Alanistas. Uh, what do you have to say about, <laughs> about that topic? Well, first of all, viva la revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear the people sing, singing the songs of grunting <laughs> <laughs> Quantum physics and Christmas with the cranks. Uh, Tim <laughs> Two <laughs> great tastes that go great together, which <laughs> uh, Hi, Tim. <laughs> what a pleasure to speak with you. I'm writing because I was enjoying my annual viewing of Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Every year. Come on over. It's fun. <laughs> Microphone. It's fine. Uh, uh, the movie's main plot surrounds your daughter's decision to celebrate ch- chim- trim- Trimbus with you at home at the last minute. <laughs> Do you think there may be another parallel universe where she made the opposite decision? Where she danced on an island with a margarita and did not think of you or Jamie Lee, or this didn't happen in real life and it was a movie. Can you elaborate on your thoughts regarding the film? I teach sixth grade here in Iowa, and I think this could be a great tool to teach them about the multiverse. Ooh, fire this person immediately. (laughs) You know, we have a curriculum, right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, uh, Thank you for reading. Well, I'm rambling on! To Malin and Eastus, your biggest fan in Iowa, and maybe the world, or multiverse! P.S. Are you a single man? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. I fucking love this person. Okay, so Tim Allen's idea exchange is pretty clearly two separate forums. One for being a fan of Tim Allen, and mm-hmm. one for having really dumb ideas about quantum mm-hmm. physics. Okay. And this is the only person <laughs> posting in both of them at the same time. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> A foot in both worlds. I appreciate that. <laughs> the multiverse. They're the only one who get it, I think. Thank you, Tim Alanistas. And wait, we've got that one. Where is that? Ah, uh, here we are. Um, 
Uh, Toast, would you tell me about God, quantum physics, and sticks? Uh, I will. Uh, yes. All right. I am Peter Zabriskie. And I'm reading about God, quantum physics, and sticks. I am thinking of relating to Tim an idea. God is the quantum force that binds all and is everywhere and at all times. Parentheses, love? <laughs> Which, if we're not careful, and mix two strange quarks, not love. <laughs> oh no, you've mixed the love and the anti love. <laughs> Together, like the power of the ship. Together, the world will collapse like a junkyard 56 Ford. <laughs> and Jesus was the man at the switch saying, Believe in me, God is love. Don't touch that switch. <laughs> Don't touch that dial. <laughs> Jesus, coming on. <laughs> but now all we have is a wood stick a wood stick that used to hold a sign a sign that says Jesus was here still means don't touch that darn switch what did uh, what did that what did that mean I'm just so disappointed it wasn't sticks the band when I saw how it was spelled my heart <laughs> sank <laughs> I'm here to talk about Tommy Shaw <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I the the sticks are the cross, right? Oh, right. Okay. Well, the, maybe. Sure. I'll go with it. I'll totally yeah, go with it. Yeah. So what's the, it's, what's but the, the cross is also the cross. So, but like the stick. What was the sign that was on the cross? Also a I guess sign, Ryan, right? Yeah. G Jesus was here. That's that's how it translates. Okay. Yep. Yep. It, it's almost like people who talk about quantum physics on internet forums don't make a lot of sense. <laughs> to well, yeah, you, really small brain. Physics. Yeah, right. It's because it's a complicated subject and they understand it really well because they think about it a lot. <laughs> or talk I mean, about it a lot, at least. Well, quarks, right? Am I right? Like think quarks. Thinking. Good point. Talking is like thinking, only I don't have to do it in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, no brain required, really. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Jay. What do you? What can you tell me about cavemen? Um, I'll tell you that first. I have to find them. Ah, here we go, cavemen. Ah, well, my name first is Stale Pie. That's very important to know. Mm. Uh, in evolution, <laughs> me. In evolutionary science, it's normally said that there weren't many cavemen. Yep. The cavemen were only about five to twenty percent of humanity. The reason, the reason why cavemen are so well remembered in a part of our culture is because they painted nice pictures on the walls. <laughs> Although I've never found them that amazing, but <laughs> fuck you, cave nice. <laughs> fuck, fucking was this, boring. Was this written by Philomena Kunk? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it totally sounds like Philomena Kunk. <laughs> Although I've never found them that amazing, but they're considered Tough nice. Bet. <laughs> and they were just some of the first remains of primitive people to be found. Because otherwise, old bones were like, just some more old bones. Great. Who cares? <laughs> but when, this is. Oh my god. <laughs> but when well, they found old bones, are kind of fucking boring. <laughs> but I believe we should abol abolish archaeologists because ev you can find bones everywhere, and they're not that special. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. But when they found old bones inside caves with nice pictures, they wondered who the bones belonged to. Most primitive people living to modern times and in ancient times before writing were living outside and in the sun a lot. I signed uh, up with this website, timallen.com, because I thought of him before I wrote this. <laughs> but I couldn't find his email address because you can't really find email addresses of cavemen. Ooh, Stale pie. Stale pie, you're pretty terrific. As Tim Allen, I don't know why you think I'm a caveman. Also, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Hayes Pup 1980, which I guess means I'm the youngest person on this forum. Uh, does Tim have nice drawings on his cave walls too? I can burn. Well, you know, some people consider them nice, but I've never found them that amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Those ancient caves found in in the middle of France. One of them had a painting of a Camaro, actually. <laughs> but there was the like bitchin' like airbrush on the Camaro because that's the only thing I care about. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hey, uh, hey, you're thinking of a cave van. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ironicus, will you try and cheer? Or do you need some cheering up, rather? Hey, do you need to be yeah, cheered up? Yeah, it's been a long, long day. Mm. So, I mean, that's, sorry, that's the name of the thing I want you to read. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> if, I just, 
Sorry, I didn't, I didn't it was just me. Frank it was Weston. Mo- it's motherfucking hour it's 20. Cheering. We got nothing for you, man. <laughs> I don't know what sort of emotional comfort you need. I cannot offer. Well, I'm going to tell you exactly what kind of emotional comfort I need because my name is Artist. <laughs> and my, my, I'm a fine American sheeple. Oh, my chin is in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> helplessly bleeding about circumstances beyond my control. Okay, okay, the, the script. Okay, the bus is two stops away. I can just get off. I won't pay any attention. <laughs> Someone get me a barf bag for my emotional roller coaster ride, please. I don't have barf bags on roller coasters. <laughs> I'm just a tiny bit upset, like the BP CEO who said the oil spill is tiny. Bah, bah, those huh. flipper killers. How long till we get to the word triggered? <laughs> well, boys and girls, cousin artist sure could use some cheer. I already told Haste Pup I'm considering moving to Germany since the president refused to dive into the Gulf and stop that leak like Superman. Dear Tim, would you like to be involved in housing coastal <laughs> refugees? I still think a tree house in your backyard would be fun. <laughs> bah, bah, black sheep all covered in oil and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to oily sea. Yep, uh, True Detective season one definitely was the best. <laughs> uh, you know, Tim, they're not refugees if they're from North Carolina. <laughs> Tim is a flat circle. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, thank you. (laughs) You're welcome. Uh, Um, (laughs) Hey, Lemon. Uh, yeah. I'm going to give you a choice. Oh, oh. How's this feel? You have the power. Uh, A little weird, a little weird, but uh, I think I'm okay with it. So what we just read was a post by someone named Artist. And mm-hmm. a really good thing about Artist is that they've written a very long story um, about Yetis <laughs> that I believe is satirical. Yeah. So okay. we, could, we could read a lot of that. Probably not all of it. It's long. Um, uh, or we could read the Santa Claus 4 slash Country Cousins. Um, sorry, Santa Claus, like the Tim Allen movie uh, fan yeah. sequel that someone wrote yeah. by yeah. Tootsie 801. Oh, uh, man, I mean, Yetis, Yetis are good. Yetis are good. I don't want to choose wrong. Man. Uh, can, I, can I interject something for a second uh, while you decide? Uh, mm-hmm. Tim Player 2 in the chat said, is this Tim Cube? And I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> You've been educated dumb. <laughs> As part of the educated stupid, I say to you, four day simultaneous tool time. <laughs> evil educators teaching children to use inferior tools uh okay so i've i've glanced at both i think i'm liking the yeti i'm thinking i'm liking the yeti that's that's the right choice because they misspelled santa claus in the santa claus heading Okay. Every single time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. Or rather, they spelled it properly, which is improper because we we live in right. Right. The Tim Allen idea has changed. Yeah. Yep. It is where we live. Okay, then uh, I'm going to start us off with Yon the Yeti because I'm the host, so I'll take the boring intro, and Do everybody it. can just kind of take whatever part they want, frankly, because it is the entire lower half of the document. Great. Um, no tell readers, especially the quiet ones. Welcome to work in progress. I just changed the title to better describe the snooze writing. Uh, The story is written on this site for a variety of reasons, mostly random acts of boredom on my part. I could just as easily work on this in the privacy of an email box, but I choose to try and complete it here because I invite, sorry, not complaints, comments on the work. I don't know why defaulted to complaints. It's a social thing with me. Any reader is welcome to comment, (laughs) laugh, compliment, make suggestions. You're welcome to laugh. (laughs) Thanks. P.S. Since the notes are a jumble of a read, the story has a beginning on page three of this. The topic title is Ever to Begin Again or The Yeti Faith. Read from that point to see how the story is taking shape. We won't do that. And now it doesn't make sense no matter what order you read it in. I've looked it over. And this was posted on the Tim Allen Idea Exchange. This was posted as a series of separate posts, which he's now collated together. Okay. Okay. Uh, Um, Yeah. For posterity. 
so yeah, Lemon, if you want to start on the outside looking inside, or literally, as I said, literally whenever. Time is, is in fact, a flat circle. None of these are chronological. Uh, sure, you know what? Then I'm just going to take uh, the thing I was looking at here, uh, which is the Yeti Faith artist. You must focus, said the kindly voice of the mystical Yeti. You're too easily distracted. The story. Focus on the story. Wow, your eyes are so blue, said artist to the Yeti. Concentrate, replied the Yeti so softly it was almost a whisper. You're not the witch in disguise, are you? She was always telling me, yes, yes, watch out for the yes. <laughs> Concentrate on the story, said the Yeti again, this, kind, this time in a kind yet firm tone. The witch was in the story, said artist, but she didn't actually have any magic powers, so... You must not be related to how I think about it. The Yeti smiled and asked, how does the story begin? Well, I've been wondering about the actual location of the estate. At first, I thought it would be a California paradise, but possibly a stately southern plantation, a gothic Disney haunted mansion style. Somewhere deep in the heart of Alligatorville, Louisiana, nested in an exclusive bayou, moss hanging from the trees, and outdoor celebrations taking place, not unlike the opening scene of Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. Uh, Wait a minute, interrupted the Yeti. You're not one of my regular contacts. What are you? What do you mean, what am I? What is that, Yeti humor? Replied Artist before continuing on. The only problem with growing up swamp people is that none of Xander Groms have a southern accent. Am I right, folks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How can they grow up without the accent? Oh, I know. Private school. Hey, where'd the Yeti disappear to? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for starting us at the start. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so toast, you can take uh, the next one, or as as I said, it doesn't. It's not. It's any of them. But you can also oh. just take the Return of Frankenstein if you want. Uh, let's see. I, I'll take I'll take the Return of Frankenstein. Twenty years later, a cat named Mister Whiskers jumped from couch to table and knocked over an antique vase. The vase had only recently been brought up from the basement, and after that time of being safely stored, it tragically rolled off the table and shattered on the floor. An ancient mystery was finally solved: the missing Soki had been inside. The residue of Shalena's sticky ice cream fingerprints were outlined in dust on Frankenstein's plastic face. <laughs> Freddy, by then, had an extensive monster collection of all sorts that had long ago found a Soki replacement on eBay. Still, he was thrilled to discover that not only is original Frankie, but who the real pirate was that had hidden his treasure. A small child, a small part of childhood resentment towards Edward had lifted on that happy day, and Mr. Whiskers was given a special kitty treat. I love a good mystery, said the Yeti. <laughs> I do too, agreed the artist, and then asked, what exactly are you doing here? Because, to be honest, I don't think you're going to be in the final draft of this. I am here because you called me, answered the Yeti. <laughs> Well, isn't that interesting, said Artist, and then continued with, So tell me, do you have magic powers? Do I? asked the Yeti in a soft voice that was almost a whisper. You should know. No to all readers. Isn't this great? I've talked so much about no. Yeti so long that I'm not talking to one, and a bunch of ellipses, so... Arr, 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 arr. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all the ellipses. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Jay? You can uh, go post subject online eleven or um, just roll I, the fucking dice. I'm gonna go with uh, another abominable script, actually. That um, sounds good because we're introduced to the Xandergram. <laughs> Meet Edward Xandergram, famous actor taking a break from the nonstop bickering in his marriage. He's on his way to ski Himalaya, a new ski resort. When unfortunately, the private plane ends up crashing somewhere near Mount Everest. His pilot does not surprise, survive, and his Boy Scout skills are rusty. And what is that howling sound? Aru? Is it <laughs> the wind? Oh, I missed my cue. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was waiting. I was hoping. Um, okay, so. Speaking into dictaphone, Diane, Wednesday, October 31st, 2007, 524 p.m. Post subject, Rocky Mountain High. Note to self, research Yeti facts. If you can't find what you need, just make some up. Who, who can say it's not true? More plane wreck notes. Meanwhile, back in the Himalayas, look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's a Xandergrom. It's always a miracle when someone survives a plane crash. I read about one recently in Panama. 
where a young girl survived the wreck when her friends did not. I thought it was reported she was trapped upside down until rescuers found her. What a horrifying ideal. Is I wonder if any documents that you pick up in Resident <laughs> Evil yeah, <it's> on the <laughs> desk. Yeah, you need to find out which one of these numbers is like the significant one that opens the door. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's for Yeti tasty. It's the date. I wonder if Eddie arrived at his mountain destination upside down as well in the red room. Anything is possible. One thing is for sure. <laughs> the last words from the pilot were I quit. Man, I love coffee. <laughs> Got to treat yourself. You know, get a get a good good slice of pie and <laughs> some damn fine coffee. You know, excuse my language, excuse my language, but damn fine reading. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, ironicus again, you've got your choice. I will say, and perhaps I should have said this earlier. Two of these contain poetry. Yeah, I'm not doing one of those. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Coward! <laughs> Moving on to post-subject, yo-ho, yo-ho, a puppet's life for me. <laughs> <laughs> Giant dancing grasshoppers with top hats and canes. Lol. Thanks, Emrad. I love it. They'll be accompanied by Lawrence Welk bubbles blowing into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Obsessica Zandergram was forever bothering Eddie, Eddie, Eddie with her great movie ideas. Since she spent most of her free time in Disneyland, all of her stories revolved around the attractions there. She just finished pitching It's a Small World, A Voyage of Total Terror, about how runaway children have been captured by a toy maker who drugged and placed them inside <laughs> robotic dolls. Oh, you mean that Soul Asylum song? Yeah, that's a good one. I was going to say that's Five Nights at Freddy's, the novelization, but anyway, <laughs> that's a better joke. When they awoke, they were compelled to sing the same song over and over because the drug was really an enchantment. For the kindly old toy maker was a direct descendant of Geppetto, who once had dealings with the mystical blue fairy. From wood to flesh, a magic spell now transform into this robotic shell. Please, not before I've had breakfast, said Eddie. Oh, how he enjoyed these family visits. Edited three times in total. Please support <laughs> indie gaming on Kickstarter. Reading, reading this out of sequences is really interesting. Watching the pieces fall into place. <laughs> it's like Westworld, really. <laughs> I mean, he posts them out of order, so like I don't know what else to do it. And uh, I'll just finish off with the, after making all of these posts in this subject where he's, he's gathered all of his uh, material, he makes one more post. But there's a giant dancing grasshoppers with top hat and cane really happening, is. so that's good. That's good. Is that an animated GIF or just described? No, no, no. no it's, 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 it's on the stream. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Okay. There he is. Oh, no, it's the, yeah, yeah, no, it's animated. animated. There you go. <laughs> Didn't have that tab. <laughs> so uh, the the final post after I make all this. Wow, 150 views since I last wrote here, and not a single comment. <laughs> <laughs> sad sad grunt oh <laughs> thoughts may come thoughts may go but mad on the internet is a constant <laughs> <laughs> can someone play spanish flea one more time on the soundboard <laughs> there you go you're welcome <laughs> That is really loud. Um, there we go. Ooh, Herb Halbert and the Tijuana Brass. <laughs> right. What did uh, we learned? We learned early in the yeah. marathon that that's the easiest album to jizz on. But what did we learn <laughs> in this hour, Lemon? Oh boy. Uh, so uh, there's a thing to cultivating your audience that's sort of an interesting exercise <laughs> um, because. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's yet another forum where people uh, uh, talk through each other. Um, mm -hmm. The only thing that was really bonding them is that, uh, you know, obviously they all love Home Improvement. Who wouldn't? It's great. It's perfect. But like, but also that they, you that know, bonds <clears throat> America. are just like big brain people in general. Um, and <laughs> those people just never talk, like they never actually talk to each other because... No. <laughs> Like, they're all on their own path of discovery. You're just getting in the fucking way. I like that because Tim Allen is a celebrity. He gets to do the same banal shit that, like, a lot of people do on the internet. 
but he sort of creates an eddy around him that draws in more interesting, crazier people. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like it's it's uh it's it's pretty impressive that you can just kind of like get to that get to that point with just the lamest of milk toast ideas and like be uh like because like so for example like i was at one point uh i was uh i was at a bar uh and a guy that i sort of know was like blah 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 joe rogan i was like i fucking hate joe rogan don't talk to me about joe rogan and he was like blah blah joe rogan i was like no i don't like i'm just telling you right now don't talk to me about the subject i do not want to have this conversation please stop i do not want to have this conversation and he's like Okay, but seriously though, Joe Rogan, what the fuck is he doing? To you? Like, I know the show is like five hours long. Like, what is what is implanting itself in your brain? Um, backwards well, masking, as I, I read about on the yes. Nat point. <laughs> well, Joe I, Rogan, otherwise known as Natus Number Six. Mm, well, I know what I learned. Mm. You guys want to hear what I learned? You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and with that, we are coming on to hour 23, which is uh, only two hours left. Uh, and boy, it's I've been coming on every hour, Lemon. It's fucking <laughs> hitting me. I am in a weird place. And I think I'm hosting. No, I'm. Oh, am I hosting this one or am I hosting no, this No, you're one? not hosting. No, I'm not hosting this one. Okay, cool. I'll just be quiet. Uh, so hour, hour 23 coming up next. You got uh, Boots Rain Gear as your host, and he is joined by Lemon, Frank West, John Toast, and J.W. Friedman. Thank you, Ironicus. Mm, glad to be uh, here. For bringing us through the land of uh, Tim Allen. Oh, and uh, very much thank you, Positronic. Let's give a hand yes. to Positronic. Um, uh, for some, some very, very for lovely drawings. For doing an entire Tim Allen hour without knowing what Tim Allen looks like, so you just keep <laughs> Santa Claus for a while, which I think is a solid choice. And, and an awesome plugger. Yes. Yes, uh, yes. yes. Uh, and uh, Dijon Dejour will be your artist. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Uh, also, uh, if you're, uh, as you're, you're into uh, uh, marathons, uh, you definitely should, uh, I, I'm not going to talk about Gextra Life. Ironicus, tell us about Gextra Life, please. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if we're doing it this fall, but we probably are. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, in over Labor Day weekend, uh, we'll we'll be doing a an extra life stream benefiting uh, Hurley Children's Hospital, or at least that's what we what we've done the last three Labor Day weekends. Mm -hmm. So uh, oh, nice. look look for announcements when they exist. I guess. <laughs> I feel like the results were huge last time around. Absolutely, no, we've grown every year, and it's it's fantastic, and and I love doing. But. Uh, yeah, so uh, G E N uh, underscore Ironicus on Twitter. Uh, yep. like and and you'll find all the things that I do that aren't necessarily uh, benefiting, but I I make a lot of stuff. I'm benefiting somebody. <laughs> all right. Well, I'll see you in a minute. Bye bye.